All right, number two, immutable law, folks. Number two, I do that on yellow. Let's do it. I like this right here. I got this orange right. Number two, immutable law. You know what they tell me? They tell me you can't get all these on YouTube if they're too long, right? Exactly. Well, we can get them on Maze Live TV, though, can't yeah, we? You no, you can't either. Well, we got to get them on YouTube you to start them, with. Or one of these other. Yeah, okay. Well, all right, uh, let's put the, the, the next law right here is motivation. Motivation. It is a, the motivation to learn is a social phenomenon, cultural, cultural phenomenon, whatever how you want to say, cultural process. The motivation to learn, folks. A kid, if, if a kid comes to class and they refuse to learn, and some kids will just say, I'm not going to learn. You, you don't bring the book and pencil, I don't bring nothing to class. You can get Arn Duncan, you can get uh, George W. Bush, who passed here on Kennedy, push for no child left behind, and, and, and you get Barack Obama, President Obama, let me give him due respect, I voted okay. for him. And uh, I ain't going to vote for him this time, huh? Oh, you're not voting for him? No, I'm not. I know you are. No, I'm not <laughs> voting for him this time. I think we need to do something else in the economy. I, I don't like that national health care stuff. I think it weighs down the economy. You don't, you, don't, you don't have enough oxygen in the economy. And I ain't going to ask you. I ain't going to put you on the spot right there. Nah, but, undecided you know, vote. Undecided right there. <laughs> I, 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 you know, I'm going I'm I'm to vote for a Republican this time. Obama. I'm going to vote Republican this time. I'm, I'm the swing vote. I go back and forth, right? Yeah, that's right. But uh, he not. He, he, he's a straight Democrat vote, right? Yeah, that's right. Got to stay true. Got to stay true, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. I try, I try to get him to get off that Democrat plantation every now and then, folks. <laughs> he's, he's happy on the plantation. He's <laughs> <laughs> a free war. He's got to do good things on that plantation. <laughs> no, nah, I'll tell you what. you got to have motivation this time. Right. Right. That motivation right. to learn is a social process. And I'm going to tell you, folks, if a kid comes to school and he brings no motivation to school because maybe he's been around a situation in his family, he doesn't have no books. I mean, I grew up with books in the house, folks. And then, you you know, kids come to school and realize they're coming from a reading culture. They have a little more motivation to learn. Some kids are just defined. Some kids decide they're not going to do anything. That's, that's, that's right. You know, exactly. at least with standardized tests. What a bunch of hooey. Standardized. We had achievement tests when I was growing up, back in the 50s and the 60s. My daddy was a school principal. And uh, my school principal, my school, called my father. They had to let him know that I had scored as a moron. Wow. A moron. Well, it's easy to score as a moron when they give you out these little answer sheets and you just bubble them all in, right, and they put your head on your desk, exactly. right? Exactly. I didn't right. want to do it, so I didn't bubble. Right. Don't you think? Now, my parents, you know, highly valued education. My father, you know, already, you know, got his bachelor's degree from Auburn, master's from Peabody, which at the time was located across from, well, still is located across from Vanderbilt, but it's now part of Vanderbilt, Peabody College of Education of Vanderbilt University. And, and uh, so what I'm saying, I came from, you know, educated family, but I just decided I wasn't going to do any work for a little while, right? And I, I registered as a moron. Some folks still think I'm moronic, <laughs> that I'm a moron, you know. So anyway, you got to have motivation. Right. Now, a teacher can't be responsible. I mean, you, you can't hold Arn Duncan, who never been a teacher a day in his life, but he's the he's Secretary of Education in the United States, right? You can't put, you know, you can't hold George W. Bush responsible if he's a teacher, or Bill Gates. Put him in the classroom, oh. and these kids just start telling them to f off, and I ain't get out of my face, I ain't doing anything. Exactly. And you gonna hold them responsible because a kid didn't have any motivation to learn? Now the immutable laws of public education, folks, and this private education too. But this is what goes on in private education. These kids are highly motivated. And exactly. they have discipline in the schools. Exactly. They need to go over and look at the private schools. I'm talking about the well-established private schools who kick out kids who are going to nice colleges, higher education. What are they doing? Well, first of all, discipline. they don't let you stay in the school if you don't have any discipline. Exactly. I mean, they'll call the parents saying they can't, can't stay at the school. That's right. That's right. These kids right. come in there highly motivated. You know, That's I think, right. I mean, the, the late Teddy Kennedy, he and George W. Bush, when Bush was president, Kennedy was a U.S. Senator in Massachusetts, uh, they are the ones who pushed for the No Child Left Behind, which is a disastrous piece of legislation. <clears throat> now, where did Teddy go to school? Choke Academy, I believe it was Choke, they call C-H-O-A-T-E. I hope I'm saying that correctly. And before he went to Harvard. He played a little football at Harvard right there. Yeah, that's right. You got your Harvard sweater on, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. okay. He Harvard. played football there. Yeah, he's Harvard, I think he got kicked off the team for cheating, though. Oh, really? Yeah, that's public, public knowledge, okay? You know, he was a U.S. Senator for about 50 years, and that's pretty public knowledge. But 
anyway, and George W. Bush went to Phillips Academy. Now, he's he glad to say that he, you know, he went to uh, Sam Houston Elementary School in San Jacinto Junior High over in Midland, Texas. But when he got a certain age, and his parents sent him right back exactly. up to the Northeast, and he went to Phillips Academy. Yeah. Hmm. That's where George Washington's two stepdaughters went to school, Phillips Academy. Very old school and highly motivated folks that are trying to figure out if they're going to get in Yale or Harvard or Princeton, yeah, right? Exactly. That's how or Colgate or one of those Ivy League schools, Brown. 